Hello and thanks for staying with us. It's time to talk sports now on TVC Breakfast. Well, we'll begin with uh, what no doubt will be good news um, for uh, football fans across Nigeria. And that is that the Nigeria Football Federation has confirmed that Austin de Guavon will continue as the Super Eagles interim manager and uh, will be assisted by former Golden Eagles coach Emmanuel Amuniki. The board on Monday approved a recommendation of H Technical and Development Committee to retain Aguavon as technical director and interim technical advisor of the Super Eagles, while Emmanuel Amonike becomes the chief coach of the Super Eagles. Salisa Yusuf will be the second assistant coach, chief coach of the Chan team, and Joseph Yubo will be third assistant. Aloshu Sagu will remain the goalkeeper's trainer. The reconstitution comes after the Super Eagles out at the 33rd Africa Cup of Nations finals in Cameroon and ahead FIFA World Cup qualifying playoffs against the Black Stars of Ghana next month. Well, sports analyst Timo Asanga joins me live now to uh, <coughs> uh, review the NFF's decision to retain Austin Aguavoy as a coach of the Super Eagles. Well, uh, Imor, the NFF uh, no doubt has decided to uh, listen to the voice of reason by retaining Aguavoy as uh, the Super Eagles coach, also drafted in Amonike. Uh, what, what do you think of this decision? Good morning, Ike. It's great being here. Yes, the NFF, they've decided that finally that um, Austin Aguavoy will lead the Super Eagles at least for now. I think it's a good decision for the sake of continuity, for the sake of culture, for the sake of mentality of the players, for the sake of uh, uh, a steady flow from the nation's cup. I think Guavon has what it takes to to think of these guys to the next level. Don't forget, he has been there since 2005, 2006, where he won the nation's, uh, he got bronze, he got the bronze medal in the AFCON in 20, 2006. And don't forget, in that game, that third place match, he defeated Aliu Sisi. He defeated the same Aliu Sisi led Senegalese team, 1 0. So if an Aguavo can be Sisi in 2006, I think from 2006 till now, he has gathered much experience. He can think of these guys. He had little time with these guys. He was appointed 12th of December 2021, and he was able to do the little that he can do. So with the support and everything that you will get, I think he can do better with this team. Well, some people have come up with the argument that we had our best teams under coaches like uh, Clemens Westerhoff, Joe Bonfrey, uh, and so forth, and therefore uh, would have also justified hiring a foreign coach to, uh, you know, tinker the, the Eagle side. Does, does this argument resonate with you in any way? No, it doesn't, because what we've been doing time past is that uh, we've been giving more opportunities to the foreign coaches, leaving the locals. When they got to give the uh, Stephen Kesh of blessed memory the chance to think of this team, what did he do? He won the gold medal in 2013. That is what support can do. That is what encouragement can do. So I believe with much encouragement given to these uh, local coaches, the likes of Guavon, the Amonikes, they can really go far. They just need to be supported. They need to be given the support. Ali City has been with this team for seven years. And he, they gave him the support for him to get to this stage. So they just, our Nigerian coach just needs to be given the support they need. They will go far. They will fly higher. All right. Now, um, now that the coaching issues, because this is an area that no doubt has given Nigerians, um, you know, so much concern. Uh, of course, in in the days, in the periods leading up to the leading up to the uh, the Nations Cup. There were reports that the NFF already, uh, you know, hired a foreign coach and all of that. But the sports minister was very vehement, very, uh, you know, stout in, in his support for, um, you know, uh, our indigenous coaches you know, to be part of the team, you know, going to the Nations Cup. And also during the Nations Cup, we could see a reflection of the old egos that uh, we, we, used to, we used to know. Now, now that the issues of coaching have been settled, what do you think is the next thing at the moment? Exactly. What we should focus on is how to qualify for Qatar, the World Cup in Qatar. That is what should be the target now. How we can arrange friendly matches before we meet Ghana. We are meeting Ghana for the qualifiers. How we can arrange friendly matches to meet Ghana so that they will be able to know. Now, look at what happened in the Nations Cup. When the Tunisians got Moses Simon off it, got Chukwesi off it, 
we we are not in the middle we couldn't do anything so what we should be doing now is how can this team arrange themselves so that when we meet ghana and they they seize a moses simon they seize a chukwese how can we qualify how can we beat a team how can we beat a team when we are one go down these are what we should be working on now to make sure that this team qualifies for qatar because Eguavon, don't forget if he doesn't qualify for this World Cup, his chances of being the coach of the super Eagles will be threatened he knows this he knows it. that's why they said technical advisor interim so if he doesn't qualify for this World Cup, i can tell you for free that position will be threatened he knows he has to qualify for qatar that is the next thing he has to do friendly but, matches but ali ali Sise, as you rightly mentioned earlier has been in the saddles for about uh, you know this this happened to be uh, his eighth year on um uh, i mean on that boat and he eventually won the africa cup of nations do you think that the the managers of nigerian football will exercise that kind of patience in terms of you know uh you know giving the support to the coaching crew when things don't go well i want to believe they will but the truth is if per adventure we don't we don't beat ghana we don't qualify for qatar i can tell you for free that that position will be treated normally what he should do is support this coach or support us in a give him the support he needs to call to 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 stay true with this team either in tick or in team just tell him you qualify or you don't qualify we'll stay with you to make him settle but we know we have uh, the end of at the back of your mind that they want to qualify for qatar so he should be giving the support he should be encouraged if he doesn't do well at this time he can still be pushed he can still be pushed further that come you can still learn at least you still learn so many of them learn so you can still learn along the ropes and do better the Guavon should be supported. Look at the little things he did from December 12 to now. He was able to build a team that we can that we can be proud of. This team we are playing, they were playing attacking football. Moses Simon, everybody were going forward. So if a Guavon can do this from December to January, he can proceed that produce that result. So if given a longer time, he could do better. So I just hope the NFL could give him that long rope he deserves and so that he will be able to, to be able to settle, settle and do his work properly. I, I hope so. I hope they do give him that time he needs. All right. Next month, we would face Ghana in the uh, World Cup qualifying uh, playoff. Uh, looking at the team, the way that Nigeria played in the group stages, won all the games and played in a very fantastic and uh, you know eye-catching football, but unfortunately, uh, you know, uh, failed in the um, in the knockout stage. What are the areas you think, when you look at the team in its uh, you know, full complement, what are the areas that you think that the Eagles need to improve upon or the coaching crew will need to improve upon you know, moving forward? Um, the goalkeeping area needs to really be looked upon again. You know, we've been trying so many goalkeeper, goalkeepers of recent. At a point, General was using Francis Ozoho. Uh, at a point, he changed him to Maduka Okoye. I think that position needs to be worked needs to be looked upon again. That goalkeeping position needs to be looked upon again because the confidence of Okoye, I didn't see it in that game against Tunisia. He didn't keep us in that game. The Eagles, quite all right, did not have a good game, but the keeper was not, didn't help the matters. So that goalkeeping situation should be looked into. Then, thank God, thank goodness, Osimen is back. Osimen should be brought, into, brought back into that team. That team needs a front, it needs a nine. The chances, the few chances we had against Tunisia, if Osimen was in that team, that Sadi Kumar was not really combating, Osimen will have combated those chances. Osimen should be brought back to this team. Then the likes of Aribo, Aribo should be talked to. He will still have Wakali in that team. Something should be done to the midfield so that in case Moses Simon and Chukwezi are being seized, they are being caged against Ghana, are being caged against any game, we should have, we should be able to flow from the middle. So these are areas. The technical team, the coaches should work, should work on. So if they get these areas right, I, no team, no team in Africa can stop these five goals. They will fly as high as they can if uh, they can work on these areas we just mentioned. All right, uh, Imo Asanga, uh, thank you very much indeed. As always, we do appreciate your contributions this morning on TVC Breakfast.